it's Lucas and I'm Jacob. Welcome back to Bros Before Hoes, radio show nationally syndicated. It's also an international global market. Whoa, I'm so glad I'm here. If you aren't watching that, that's a live studio audience that just said that. Oh yeah, this is the first one we're doing in front of a live studio audience. We actually have two sets of bleachers that we shipped in from the middle school a block away. And we have a bunch of teens in the audience say hey. Hey. So we we know that the the podcast audience isn't big enough that people just want to come like because I'm assuming people just like there's not that many people so yeah we hung up posters at the local middle school like not in a creepy way high school middle school college yeah and we said um come to hell we have lunch and we brought everyone subway yeah no one's really talking because everyone has social they're, anxiety yeah they're on their phones yeah. Um, anyway, um, welcome back to the pod. Yeah, it feels different this week. It feels like we're doing two <laughs> podcasts in a week because we're filming it a couple of days before. Oh, we shouldn't tell them that though. Because one person, I like how we always, we always latch onto one person's opinion and act like everyone's <laughs> oh, thinking yeah. it. But literally one person messaged us like two weeks ago and said, don't tell me if you pre-record it because it kind of ruins it for me. <laughs> oh, so yeah. like, I feel like we shouldn't tell them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. We're only pre-recording it two days in advance. That is something Because we're that... really busy. Um, We can't say what we're doing though. Oh, secret project in the morning. That's because I did as a spring break thing with our sister. But, um... <laughs> but um, that is something that's weird is that if someone emails us, um, our email is lucasjacobpod at gmail.com if you want to know. Someone said that, but they didn't know what the email was. But I always see like one comment or email, and then I assume everyone thinks that. Like, for yes. example, like someone said, like, okay, like not trying to be annoying, but you guys say like too much. And one person <laughs> said that, and then I think, oh, everyone gets annoyed, so I can't say that anymore. Oh, yeah. I don't even worry about saying like. Um, like, yeah, who cares, like, you know? Like, I, you know? I feel like I just say like and it's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you don't like it, then like off. Oh, which this is the first um, podcast where if you're watching on YouTube, I'm not wearing socks. So like foot fetish. Oh my God. So, OnlyFans? I like how we're both Ricky. sitting. We're like, you can't really see our feet because we're sitting cross-legged. So it's kind of like uh, you have to go to our OnlyFans for that. Oh yeah. Like you. Yeah. People, um, there, there always is a comment on my video saying you can, you should make an OnlyFans. And just to clarify, <laughs> the low key brag. Oh no, no, <laughs> everyone wants me to make an OnlyFans. <laughs> no, but no, but I'm not bragging because it's some like old guy. I listen. Uh, if you guys don't like... know, OnlyFans is where if you're an influencer, <laughs> you have your fans, your fans pay an extra amount of money, and you just release like nudes and stuff. Or it can oh, be, yeah. it can be bikini shots. But I think everyone's just kind of doing low key porn on there. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let that person know, like that the people that are wondering, I'm not gonna do it only fans. I just like don't <laughs> want to. It's like if you're if you're actually wondering, I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm not trying to brag either, but there is one person on Instagram DMs who always um so I always do my Instagram DMs because people send me video ideas and stuff. And this yeah. one person always sends me a DM telling me to make an OnlyFans and they always send me like they're saying, Look, Chris Crocker's making a lot of money <laughs> and they like send me this article every single time of Chris Crocker saying he's like a millionaire now because of OnlyFans. Like you oh, yeah. could do it too i'm like nah i just like scroll through twitter and like random people that i follow have only fans and they give a preview of their only fans and it just is like <laughs> like the one that i saw was um um was um trisha paytas actually she posted a photo oh. of she was like it looked like a hot dog it wasn't for sure a real <gasps> penis but she was sucking on something that was either a fake penis or something and it was like it's just funny because I was about to go to bed and that's what I saw before <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans. Doesn't someone from your high school, like a girl you went to high school with, doesn't she have an OnlyFans you found out? Yeah, she is does. Is she like one of the top creators? Um, Hopefully she is. My hopefully God, she's making get that, that money. money. I know. I, wanna... I feel like it's just going to be a thing where like you just find out like, oh yeah, my mom has an OnlyFans. <laughs> I always wonder, like, I know that all these people have OnlyFans and it costs like, um, the ones that I saw cost like thirty dollars a month. So yeah, isn't it, Trisha's really expensive? Yeah, it's like thirty or fifty. So I wonder, like, how do all of these different like people are 
I'm assuming people are willing to pay like the big bucks for this. But also, like, how do they keep um, people from just reposting it? Like, if you were one of the OnlyFans supporters of Trisha Paytas, couldn't you just copy and paste the photo onto Instagram and be like, oh, here's the thing? That's what I don't, don't understand. But maybe they have like a policy that you get kicked out or you can't somehow. I don't know. Yeah. Who it's knows? Really, yeah. It's really interesting, though. Like, this is like, uh, yeah, just like uh, influence all. Sexual website, I guess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a huge event that happened in the last week is a few of you guys tweeted me that Megan the Stallion tweeted ten years ago <laughs> that no. she was watching Fred the movie. I know, and she said that and there was a hashtag NW, which I didn't know what that meant. And I guess it means now watching, and she put a bunch of like she always was posting about what she's watching. I know. She posted about Fred the movie twice. She also posted about Cyberbully. We've all seen it starring Emily Osment. She gets cyberbullied and um, it ruins her life. And it's so crazy to me because um, cause, cause I love Megan Thee Stallion's music. Like She just released um, an EP, I think, called Sugar. I don't know if it's an EP or sugar. album officially. Uh, sugar. I was saying no Sugar, art. though. Yeah, Sugar. And um, it's so good. But it's so weird because in those songs, she's like, I'm a hot girl and like talking about just like sex and other stuff. But it's so funny thinking about like five years ago, she was like watching Fred the movie or Cyber Bully. <laughs> I know. I almost so wish crazy. that I wouldn't have seen these old tweets because I, I love Megan Thee Stallion. I obviously still love her. And I, I too was listening to Suga at the gym today. And isn't there like one of her songs? She's like, don't be afraid if I don't pull the gun out on you. Or oh, something. Like, yeah. Like it's all about like being like a gangster, badass girl. You know, B-I-T-C-H is one of the songs. And but then like I... She might be that, but then I just picture her at home watching Cyberbully. And, like, I'm like, yeah. now it kind of ruins it, you so, know? Well, but, like, I, I, like, I just assume that it's, like, a big, like, <laughs> so, obviously, it's, like, everyone fantasy, you know? It's, like, I'm a hot girl, but I feel like it's a character. It's or like, do you, I guess people who are, like, um, even people who are hardcore, you know, they sometimes might at home be watching Fred the movie and Cyberbully, you know? Oh, yeah, like, you can't always be hardcore. Sometimes you just need a joke yeah. movie on. Like you can be a laugh. boss bitch and also be a fan of Cyberbully and Fred the movie, you know? And, like, you can talk about people, like, licking you, but then watch <laughs> Cyberbully and not It's just it funny because now whenever I, when I was listening to her album, I just kept picturing her watching Cyberbully and Fred the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, it just kind of ruined, like, the effect of the songs. But I still, I love the album Sugar. Oh, Sugar. yeah. Sugar. I know I love that name. Sugar. Okay, so last week, um, I... I did some bold statements about the epidemic, which i um, not trying to brag. I was right. I mean, it is something that has to, I don't, I still, I, I oh, just it's something that, cause it's, you, you mentioned something last week about like epidemic and your penis or something. And then I was like, that's not a word. And then that we found that that actually is a word. Yeah. So it isn't on the outside. It's in the inside, like is <laughs> with the prostate and stuff. So like just wanted to let you guys yeah, know. Yeah. And some of you bitches were like oh you guys are saying why does everyone think you're dumb and then jacob mentions an epidemic what's that turns out it's real I look know. who's the dumbass all of you people were saying what's an epidemic but war hell knowing what an epidemic yeah, is we're ahead of you but then i will also i'm also behind because um what I said about the vulva was wrong. I, oh, you are really wrong with your vaginal anatomy. Yeah. Anato anatomy knowledge. Someone said that even though we're gay, we should still know because it just is important information. That's true. So according to Google, a vulva is the external part of the female genitalia. Can you picture saying genitalia in real life instead <laughs> of genitals? That just sounds so scientific. I know. It put it protects a women's sexual organs. Your nary opening is the subtle... Of women's sexual response. So, uh... Um, Isn't that what you said, though? But people thought it's wrong, so... Uh -huh. Oh, were they just hating? I never know. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, so, um... That's really interesting. Also, the Crookshank Reddit is thriving. I think we should do a thing where every week on the reddit.com slash r slash Crookshank, there should be one post that says topics for next week's podcast. And then you guys can write in on that one post topics and you can vote up topics you want to talk about, vote down topics you don't want to hear about. And it would all be on one post. So like then every week we can look at that one post and like, like oh, they want us to talk about Demi Lovato's little sister, so let's let's bring her up. <laughs> okay, that's such a good idea. So like, so it would kind of be like when a TV show has a Reddit, when the new TV show comes out, 
they they have a discussion and everyone says their opinions. So like instead of saying your opinions because we don't want to hear you, I'm joking. <laughs> um, just say what you want to hear. I'm yeah, just, suggest. Yeah. yeah. The only scary thing about a Reddit though is it kind of feels like Reddit's always turned dark. Like have I you know. noticed that? Like I watch Vanderpump Rules. I'm like I'm gonna follow the Vanderpump Rules Reddit. All negativity. Oh, yeah. But I guess Vanderpump Rules is a negative show. So maybe that's, that's why. That's people are really pissed off. Yeah, just mad watching But even it. like with the Joe Rogan podcast, like years ago I followed his Reddit, the Joe Rogan podcast, and people yeah. on there are always just bitching about his podcast. Like, but I guess they still... Sucks. Dude, I guess they still listen. I know, though, so it'll so maybe... be interesting like, to see if our, if our Reddit turns into that. Oh, yeah. So when I was on the Reddit last night, one of the... Um, like it was a question to Lucas. The One of the b- big posts was... They were wondering how you filmed the videos, even though you have 75 siblings. Oh, like the uh, growing videos. up, it actually was a struggle to film at the house. I always had to do it when everyone was gone. And oh, luckily, yeah, like everyone. In the, well, at first, when I very first started making YouTube videos, I just make them in the basement and you'd hear people upstairs running. Oh, but then yeah. once I got, they started getting more popular, like I was like, oh, like everyone has to leave and stuff. So I kind oh, yeah. of everyone listened. <laughs> what I thought was so funny was like thinking back to it. Yeah, because I remember like. We'd just be chilling at the house and then like, and then like, and then I remember like mom would actually take it serious and be like, we have to actually leave. But usually it would and be like around would times leave. where you guys were already leaving. Like well, you guys would all be going to church. Oh and yeah. Oh, I would get a skip <laughs> church because I'm like, I have to work. I was so jealous because I like always thought, I was just like, always thought church was boring because I wanted to be like, And then like you guys and... would go to basketball games and I would stay home and film. Well, sometimes you go to McDonald's when you were filming. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. But I literally only filmed like once a week back then. So. Oh, yes, it wasn't and like a Filming the Fred videos literally took like 20 minutes. So. <laughs> Didn't you like do makeup and stuff though? <laughs> I covered up my zits. Oh, yeah, because I remember like you had like that little jaw makeup or something. <laughs> <laughs> I would just use mom's makeup. Oh, you would? But I remember one time I used, you know those little erasers at, that you put on the, like those pointy erasers you can attach to the end of a pencil? Oh, yeah. I one time stuck those to my face because I thought it was funny and I got all these hickeys all over my face. <sighs> and then mom, I like told mom, I'm like, I'm not going to school because like I have hickeys all over my face. And she <laughs> brought me to the store and got me this makeup thing and she was like, no one will even know. And like... T- one day into wearing it, like the girl I was sitting next to in class was like, "Are you wearing makeup?" Oh, they noticed. And I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I need to go home sick now. <laughs> yeah, like th- there was a time when like I had like a big zit on my face in eighth grade, and I remember like I was like oh, talking to one of my sisters, and I said, "This is like so big," and then they, and, they, <laughs> and then they said, "Oh, just put makeup on a little bit of concealer, and no one would notice." And like I'm in so like in today's life i'll be like oh i will make up just to cover it if i really want to but like you know when you're in school and you just act what i already need to want someone to point oh, out yeah a boy's wearing makeup but it's just like not usual for a boy to wear makeup so then you just feel awkward you're sexist <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean did any guys wear makeup at your high school last year i'm trying to i feel like the no like no yeah because it was guys that wore makeup there was like a I, really I when i was like a freshman like um, a guy that was a senior sometimes will make up. Oh my God. When I was in so, high school, it was like, it was, you were considered to be really far away from normal. If you even just were a guy wearing skinny jeans. Oh yeah. Like, like that took a lot of confidence to go to school in skinny jeans and be like, yeah, I'm wearing them. That's crazy. But like now people are wearing makeup. That's the world's changing. I know it's evolving. That, that one hickey story reminded me of, uh, one of our sisters used to always tell us just to, just to be annoying. Like she'd tell us like, Oh, if you put your hand in a fist and you put it on your chin it oh gives you God. a hickey and i and i always like oh my gosh, i'm gonna do it but then i stopped myself after a ton no didn't she prank us by saying if seconds. you squeeze your chin your nose will go numb or something oh yeah because she wanted us to be so confused. then we'd be like oh my god she'd be like, just keep holding it and then eventually you gave yourself a giant ass mother effing hickey. so i didn't ever hold it did you ever get a hickey from it i don't think i did oh, okay yeah i don't think i did either also somebody emailed us that jacob one time mentioned the conspiracy that mcdonald's has horse meat in their food which oh yeah like how did you hear about this so it like so mcdonald's and there was a few other fast food places like um like uh so like there's a fast food place only in the like i don't know if it's only in nebraska just in the middle it's called amigos oh amigos and there was a conspiracy i don't know where i heard it like maybe someone in the family said do you know they um do it with horse meat or like maybe they were joking <laughs> when they said it but that kind of then there was also an article a couple months ago about mcdonald's using horse meat that i think we both talked about oh yeah so it's kind of just something that people talk about sometimes so kim emailed us and she says please kim don't Kardashian? say my name shit she said please don't say my name but like there's a lot of kims who listen oh wait should we say 
like uh this rim is, rim job oh uh, yeah uh but yeah that's okay rim. not to change the subject but i need to mention that this random twitter account it doesn't have to do with rim jobs oh okay, <laughs> what? i was just gonna go into <laughs> rim jobs so so with, with twitter like you can't change your app but you can change your username yeah they changed their username to kim kardashian west and a couple months ago, actual Kim Kardashian tweeted, climate change is real, like with a heartbreak emoji, like, which like, I understand, but you know how like, <laughs> you can obviously make a joke about it just because you could, people always think that she's dumb, even though she's obviously smart because she runs like a business. But, yeah. but then someone did a joke and said like, made the thing, Kim Kardashian West, and they said like, coronavirus is real. And I, and I thought it was real when I first saw it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, why did she tweet this? Is she that dumb? No, but then, Jacob sent like, me that. It was, and to make it even more annoying, it said coronavirus is real. Then it had like a heartbreak emoji. <laughs> and then it and had, I was like, like a face bitch, thing. like we all know it's real. <laughs> like I, I was so annoyed because I'm like, you think you're spreading awareness right now? Like we all are aware it's a, it's a real thing, coronavirus. Yeah, that was so But it ended up not being a real thing. But it's so funny because before I found it wasn't a real kind of actually it got me for like five seconds <laughs> no, i was like what the hell <laughs> when i saw that on my channel and i was like is she that like i was like bro like this is so also dumb. it's like it just happened like yesterday i'm like i would understand like maybe a month ago if she said that because back then people didn't know if it was real people like weren't oh, taking yeah. it as, but now it's like fully real like people know you know what i mean her to tweet now is meant coronavirus is real heartbreak emoji <laughs> oh yeah for some reason when i i know i'm changing the subject again but when i woke up this morning i was thinking about how we were somewhere like five weeks ago and someone did a joke about the coronavirus. Wait, where was that? Oh, an open mic? Yeah, we were at an open mic and someone did a joke about the coronavirus and my mind was blown because it's been around for five, like more than five weeks. So like, um, not that like I don't... like. They I might just, be canceling Coachella. It's just, yeah, because of the coronavirus. So I just like... It's so interesting. Like, it's been around for, like, not five weeks isn't long in, like, the long term, but, like, that's crazy. It's real. Yeah, it's, it, coronavirus is real, guys. But, um, don't shake anyone's hands. Oh, yeah, there's, like... I read a thing that you're supposed to not shake anyone's hands and be six, at least six feet away from people. Are we? Liar. Yeah. <laughs> Liar. Apparently, six feet away is, like, where the distance you can get it. Oh, from, like, well, how do you even go to the grocery store, then? You don't. That's what they're saying to stock up now. Oh, yeah. It's funny because people are starting to wash their hands again. I know, but it's like, yeah. this is what grosses me out because, like, why do they have to remind people to wash their hands? Because I'm someone who washes oh, yeah. my hands year round. I wash my hands year round. Oh, yeah. So, but, like, like, some people, I guess, only do it around flu season? Oh, like, so with me, like, I wash my hands. Like, obviously, I'm not a gross person, but sometimes if I'm just going pee, I'm like, okay, I go pee, like, I'm, there's people that go pee like three times a day, but I go pee like 20 times a day. So I'm going <laughs> to wash my hands after. I'm, I'm not, I'm only going to wash my hands like every fifth time. But, my, but now person, I do. I'm the type of person who I wash my hands every time before I eat though. Oh, you do? Yeah. 100. Even when I'm just at like the house. Oh, I don't do that. Also, actually. look at my hand. Oh, it's so dry. I'm getting cut up from a, this. The dryness of washing your hands. Yeah. When I was little, I, I, I didn't, for some reason, I didn't use lotion on my hands. And they were actually everywhere like that. Just so gross. But you know how I everyone's saying dryness. don't touch your face? For acne or for the coronavirus? Oh, for coronavirus. <laughs> for uh, acne, no, boo. No, no, I thought, <laughs> I know, I was that sounds dumb, but I thought you were switching it to another subject. And I was like, no, but everyone uh, says don't touch <laughs> your face. But now I feel like I always want to touch my face because of that. Well, when, the, when everyone says don't touch your face for acne, it makes me want to touch my I face. Know. I didn't know that you aren't supposed to touch your face because of the... Why? Because like if you, well, that's where like all the orifices are, you know, that could get it. That, oh, that could contract it. Yeah. With the Ebola, don't you bleed out of the office? That's so scary. <sighs> Thank God it's not that one. Um, but anyway, back to horse meat and McDonald's. On, oh, to, yeah. on to brighter things. Um, they said, hey, girlies. So this is super random, but my sister-in-law has an uncle who owns a farm. And recently, he sold a couple horses to McDonald's. I asked her more questions on why the F does McDonald's want horses, but she doesn't know. She thinks they use them for their meat. Again, this is no... We don't know if this person is just lying or what, but this is yeah. confirmed. McDonald's uses horse meat in the McNuggets. <laughs> so when I read this email, Lucas didn't tell me about it. And like, I was mind blown because this person could just be trying to joke around and made up this story. But for some reason, when I read it, I was like, this is real. Like this... Oh no, it's it's weird because if it is real, like why don't they... Wh I want her to find out. 
Give us an update if you can somehow find out why they're selling it to McDonald's. I don't know. Like, I want to believe Kim, but at the same time, I'm like, <laughs> what if she's just trolling, you know? I know. It does. I, f- I feel like people that listen to the podcast, they kind of want to troll sometimes. But the thing is, even if there is horse meat in it, why is that so much worse than cow meat or pig meat? Or- well, it's one of those things where, like, for me at least, where, like, like, I just, like, um... Like, I just don't want to eat stuff I haven't eaten before. Like, I know that sounds like just so, <laughs> oh, I'm close-minded. Um, but, yeah, even with lamb, I feel kind of gross eating it. Oh, yeah. Like, I just, like, and then, like, even, like, I wouldn't want to eat dog and yeah. stuff like that. And, Unless um, it was, like, available at a restaurant I was at. Dog. <laughs> I mean, but that's, but it's annoying when people say don't eat. Obviously, I don't think you should be eating dogs. But it's annoying when people make it like a their person. They make it like a something they're fighting for. Like, don't eat dogs. It's like, why don't you fight for all the cows and stuff, too? Oh, yeah. Well, Just because you have a dog in your house and it's cute. Like, isn't it? A, it's pretty sure it's a thing that pigs are way smarter than dogs. Oh, yeah. You're what? willy-nilly eating ham and pig meat every day. That's what I was just going to mention. But I was like, I'll be nice to the dog. And I was like, I'm not... But like, like then again, all I'm saying is that. Wait, what were you gonna say? <laughs> I said I I understand um that it, it's sad if people eat dogs, but at the same <laughs> time, like, what if a pig was your pet? Yeah. Oh, I just also think about like, okay, like I I understand sad if people eat dogs. Like, I don't want to eat dogs, so like, don't call me animal control. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that like, what if in another country in another culture, like they think eating cow is like, or eating pig is like, so. So absurd. I'm pretty sure that but, is a thing. Yeah. So, so then, isn't it um a country they like they really are value cows and stuff. Yeah, and then they probably are like, why are all these people eating this cow? And that's so mean. They're so sacred. So then I feel like this is how the world works. Yeah. So fortunately, if you obviously it might be sad to think someone's killing a dog and eating it, but if you're eating a hamburger, you have no room to talk. This to- this reminded me of one time we went on a, a vacation. I don't know if you're trying to scale me, but <laughs> if you watched a video, I don't know if you remember this. It was like so long ago. You told me that when we were gonna leave on vacation, there's there's this thing happening. Back then, you told me there's this thing happening that well, people from another because you were telling oh me God. that people know steal dogs about. and they eat them, and then I was like, no, I don't want that to happen to our dogs. I remember. This so I believed what, it as fully. It was from MySpace. What, what was it? There was it? a thing going around MySpace, probably fake news because <laughs> I've never heard about it happening in America. But it, I think it might happen. And people say it happens in China because they have a festival where they have dogs run around the city or something. Oh yeah. But um, there were there was this fear mongering thing on MySpace that said if you go on vacation or something, like these people are gonna come to your house and steal your dogs and put it in this festival <laughs> in China. That's what it was, yeah, because you told me that they were gonna eat the dogs and then bring them to another country, and I was like, what? I mean, no, but my it was all fake. Just, MySpace, the original fake news place. <laughs> also, when you think about it, I why think I'm pretty it... sure I like reposted that on my MySpace. It was like, everyone, like, be aware. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why would why would people rob your house just to get dogs? I mean, it happened in Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians. That's true. Why were they trying to steal the dogs? In 101 um, Dalmatians. I think they wanted the dogs so they could skin them and put them in <gasps> jackets. That, because Cruella, Cruella DeVille, DeVille thought it was high fashion to wear that. Like, <laughs> like not saying that you should do that, but Cruella DeVille is cool. I know, her clothes looked awesome. I, like, I'm not promoting smoking cigarettes, but we can all admit that it was cool when she put it on that one <gasps> thing. That, That's when I decided oh, I'm going to be a smoker. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> when I saw Cruella DeVille with that long-ass cigarette, I was like, okay, once in 18, buying cigarettes. Honestly, if your parents... If you're parents right now, don't show your... If you don't want your kids to have bad <laughs> lungs when they're 30, don't show them. Yeah, because Cruella donations. DeVille is so chic, so ahead of time. <laughs> is that a Zila Banks lyric? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So chic, so ahead <laughs> of time. time. <laughs> but um, she literally will make anyone turn into a smoker. I'm no, <laughs> I am not a smoker, but I wanted to be because of her. Like, when, I remember being a kid and just wanting to smoke a lot. Like, yeah, I remember so- literally smoking French fries. We had those candy cigarettes at the gas station. I just, like... I grew up thinking smoking was so cool. Yeah, like I don't. <laughs> Why is that? So like, um, yeah, like me, I've I've only smoked like two cigarettes before in my life, but I I don't get why it is, but I thought like smoking, like I, cause those candy cigarettes, I used to think it was like, oh, when I get a French fry at McDonald's, I remember I used to like do this, and mom I would know. get mad. I remember me and my me like, and my I older sister smoking. would be doing it in the back seat with the French fries, and mom would look in the mirror and be like, stop, and be like so <laughs> mad. And our dad smoked, so she would always yell at him, being like, see, they want to smoke because you do. And like she'd get all mad at him, thinking that like we were wanting to be like him. But we like funny. would secretly like we would look at each other and be like, shh. <laughs> And then, like, get a French fry and put up to our lip. And we also have ketchup on the end. So it looked like it was lit. Oh, yeah. And we're like... 
<laughs> and then also at my grandparents' house, my grandpa had a cigar thing on the top of the piano, <laughs> and we'd sneak into the living room when no one was in there and like pretend we were smoking out of the cigar. <laughs> and it tasted so bad because he actually used it. Oh yeah, it, it was wasn't like a cigar; it was like a pipe. It was a yeah, a pipe, right? Yeah, and we pretend to smoke it, and like our mouth would taste like tobacco. And the other poof <laughs> I have that sounds so. It was, it was it just sitting in there for so long. I don't know. I'm Another sure. poof that. For some reason, some kids think it's cool to smoke cigarettes. I remember in elementary school when it's freezing. Like, I don't, some of you guys might not have experienced this, but when it's freezing, when you breathe, it looks like smoke's coming out of your mouth. I remember there was like some people that I remember. I kind of thought it was cool too, like because it, it kind of looks like. Wait, can you do rings with? Fo- can you do rings mouth? with it? You know, how people do rings with <laughs> vaping. Like, can you do rings with the fog that comes out of your mouth? Um, I'm gonna I don't try know. that. Okay, but. That's something that I didn't think. But like, was there a time when you were in high school where like you saw someone do a ring and you were like, oh, I guess you I know, didn't get that. No, for some reason I never have thought vaping was cool. Like maybe because I'm older now, but I think if I was like ten at this point, maybe I would think vaping was cool. But oh well, yeah, there just was- so everyone knows, smoking, vaping, nicotine, it's not good. Don't do it unless you want to die. So. Oh yeah, don't don't do any of it. It's just bad for your lungs. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm not addicted to them, and I'm my lungs are good, and Lucas isn't either. So we're good yeah, then. but um, don't vape or you'll end up irate. <laughs> what were some other things you thought? Well, um, like, did you think like I'm? Because I don't think I thought any other drugs were, were cool because I didn't know about other drugs when I was so young. Um, I think I only yeah. knew about cigarettes. Oh, no. oh, and then I used to kind of be like. Oh my gosh, like drinking. Like, I, cause I know I saw people drinking. I didn't drink I, when I was eight, but like, oh, I mean. I was listening to Kesha being like, I threw up in the closet. <laughs> yeah. like, but just... I don't. I was like, I cannot wait to throw up in a closet. <laughs> I still haven't yet, though. I've you never been in a party that. and threw up in a closet. Oh, it is like. Or just take it to the next level and, like, next time you're at mom and dad's house, just, like, drink too much and throw up in a glass. Imagine if that's what Kesha was thinking about. Just being at her family's house. I know. Drunk. On a Sunday. It's so funny because, like, <laughs> when you hear those lyrics, and like, that is badass. Throw up in a closet. And then, like, you see it in real life and it's just sad. Oh, that's you're like, oh, so funny. like, oh, poor girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like, get it together. <laughs> like, you need to eat something. Like, it just seems sad in real life. <laughs> this reminds me Same of, Same like, as smoking. Like, smoking, when you're a little kid, you're like, oh, my God, Corella DeVille. But you see it in real life and you're just like, Ew. This looks bad. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that reminded me of there's this song by Kelly Clarkson that's so funny that like we used to joke about what was it what did it go like the, oh. I'm broken and it's beautiful <laughs> oh like, no it was There's so called, funny it's called I don't hook up and the first lyrics are oh sweetheart put the bottle <laughs> down you got too much talent now like that's if I'm so ever funny. even having one drink like maybe one glass of wine Jacob's like Oh, sweetheart, put the <laughs> bottle down. You got too much talent. I know. That's just, the best thing. Someone's literally just having maybe the end of a hard day of work. They're like, I'm going to have one drink. You say, sweetheart, put the <laughs> bottle down. Just make it sound like they have a problem. Yeah, because it just ruins everything. It I just, know. I don't know what they were talking about in that song. Like, probably an actual alcoholic, but it's so funny when you joke <laughs> about it. I just might like think of like being on your 21st birthday, but someone's like, sweetheart, put the bottle down. I know, I get something so got, bad, but it's like, I'm just trying to too celebrate. much talent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with the horse meat story, back to that because I haven't fully said my opinion. I feel like if it is real, like so, so you wouldn't be grossed out, like if someone said, "Oh, like you might have ate like a horse like, meat." Like it would gross me out if it was like if they did it, if they like um pulled one under me and secretly put horse meat in the Big Mac. Like that's gross, but obviously I think it's gross. But I have to remember, like, oh, I'll. It's just sad to eat any animal at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. We, which we found out hot dogs are vegan. Oh, yeah, because according to Grimes, which um, <laughs> she's a like singer, I think. Yeah, she's a singer. She's um, pregnant with Elon Musk's baby. Yeah, she said in she did a what I eat in a day. Like that's a YouTube series that Help Was Bizarre says does. Mm-hmm. And she said that she's like mostly vegan, but she thinks that she like, can you explain? I don't really this is honestly like probably triggering so many vegans. So we, oh, I actually yeah. don't believe this. But her theory was um, hot dogs are vegan and you can eat them guilt-free because they don't kill 
animals to make hot dogs. They just use the remnants. Yeah, they got- <laughs> which is so gross when you think about it. I know but, like, they, they taste so good. So though. they they kill chickens to like make chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. They kill cows to eat, make burgers and stuff. But then they use they cut off the little remnants yeah. and the little things they were gonna throw away and make it into a hot dog. So she's like. They aren't, but then again, like, I feel like they are killing some animals for hot dogs, right? <laughs> well, okay, so when I first thought about that, if that is true, I was like, wait, that's so true. Like, if I'm up 100% vegan, I'm going to eat hot dogs. But then I thought, wait, but when I it's get, still meat. when I get chicken strips from any chicken place, it, it could be the same thing because like, I'm not actually going up to the chicken and killing it. I'm just getting the chicken. So it's kind of like, I'm not in, how, how do you eating? get on such oh, a no. vegan topic? Oh, because horse meat. Oh, I yeah. Guess. Yeah, so... Um, um, should we brighten things up by playing the song association game? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do it. I feel like this podcast like is it's just like more like like deep than usual, like cigarettes and all that bad <laughs> stuff. Okay, so the song association game, I saw this from Bretman Rock's YouTube channel. Basically, me and Jacob are going to see a random word pop up on randomwordgenerator.com. So sad I didn't get that domain name. Uh, um, how much money do you think they make a month from this website? Because they have ads. I don't know, but like when I when I found out about Google domains, you you told me about it because like because I would just like looking at domains or something. Yeah. And then so Google domains is where you just buy a domain. And yeah, and I find it so interesting because I always think like, should I buy all these random domains and then <laughs> and then like see if I can. Some make of them money cost them. so much money. Like I tried to buy um dot com u m m dot com because for some reason I woke up one day and I'm like I'm gonna have a brand called um. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um. It uh ended up they they wanted me to pay like four thousand dollars or something. Oh my gosh, and I was like, um, nah. dot com? Yeah, and I was like, I don't even have an idea for what I would do with it yet. So oh, probably yeah. isn't worth it. <laughs> so basically me and Jake, we're both gonna see a random word. We'll tell you what it is, and the first person who thinks of a song and starts singing it gets the point. Oh yeah, and the thing that's so funny about us doing it is that like this magazine on YouTube does it, like I think it's L and it's like actual singers doing it. And when like and, and when they come up with a the song, they're like Ooh. I know, like it sounds good. Yeah, but like as it just came out. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? How many points should we go to first to what? Uh, we should do first to ten. It's pretty easy to get to yeah. ten because like who's gonna be keeping track though? Um, I'll keep. Tra- <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh yeah, sh- sh- All, we both with our hands have out. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have to get so hard to keep track of ten points. <laughs> I know. Ready, set. The word is breakfast. Wait, no, we already did that one. Oh, projection. Um, I. What? Projection. I don't know if I have one for this. Um, I need to... I, I don't... Wait. Should we just skip this one? Yeah, we should... These are like words that... Set. Oh my... I actually... What's wrong I with me? I thought I was going to be good at this because I was like, I'm ready to win set. this champion. What's the song for set? I think there's there's one in my mind. I'm thinking about like a Kesha song that I've heard. Something about like... Um, we'll have to skip this one, right? Yeah. Simplicity. What? Simplicity? Okay. What song you, has the word simplicity in it? Are you on like, like college words? Because these are big <laughs> college words. College words. <laughs> well, like, we'll try to keep graduate doing it. Degree. Yeah. We'll eventually get some good ones. Okay. Remind. I can't play that song because it reminds me of you. Kim Page's new songs. You have to sing more of it. Oh, I can't say that song because it reminds me. You're just trying to embarrass me or what? <laughs> no, they, just, they want to hear us sing more, you know? Oh, because when you looked at me, like, you started to be like, <laughs> like you're trying to embarrass me. Okay. So I can't mad play that you got song. the point, so I make you embarrassed by having to sing more. I can't play that song because it okay, reminds me of you. Okay, that was Kim Patris. You. you get the point. Okay. Missile. Missile. Whatever. Should we just both skip it? Should we just go to seven? Gravel. Oh. Okay, we are normally supposed yeah. to have word gravel in that. Okay, you need to go to one that has like simple, like, because the, the, the I know, are like, too specific. Gravel. <laughs> like, come on, randomgenerator.com. Driving on a gravel road. Okay, we're going to wordcounter.com now. Should it be nouns only, verbs only? Let's just do them all, right? Yeah. By the way, like, I want to make a country sound because it sounds so fun singing about the things they sing about. Like, I want to sing about, like, just like, just like <laughs> driving on the gravel road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is there any pop songs about gravel roads? I don't think so. I just think of Mary Lambo. Wait, I think song. I've known a song with gravel then. Is it Body Like a Back Robe? That, no, that doesn't say gravel, oh, though, I don't think. That. Okay. Wait, th- this isn't working. Oh, you guys, okay. we really effed up. We um, really effed up. This is like, bye. I am so sorry. 
Sweet how put the bottle down. <laughs> You got so much talent. Wait, so this, this says, one's going to give us two words. So Should we, we can, do that and that we say both words? And if you can find them with one of the words you got it, how about? Okay, yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Um, uh, what is going on? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it's done now. Beehive and 100. Oh, but it seems to be looking like phone bands. numbers. If it ain't money, then wrong number. Did I say 100? No. Oh, I have one. What was it? Um, it's something I'm like a rapper, but 100 bands, 50 bands. Fuck it, man. <laughs> I don't need... It's a Drake song. I think it says 100 bands. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, does that count? Yeah, you have two. Bleep and Bator. Oh. Touch and numb up bleep. If you want to bleep. Touch and numb up bleep. <laughs> it's by 303. Oh, oh, girl, I, I gotta go. I... I'm finished with the show. <laughs> if you want to bleep me, I won't. And they actually say bleep. Oh, they do? They don't say bleep, but there's a bleep sound. Does that count? There's a no, bleep sound. No, it, it counts. But, but it's a sound you, effect, though. I think it, it I, counts. And I got it. But when you first were going to sing, I thought you were just going to sing a song with the F1 and say it's bleep. And I was like, oh, get no. the F This 303 show. song actually had it touching on my... Oh, my God. I need to add that to my Apple Music. <laughs> if you don't know who 303 is, listen to their top hits and... The song You'll, with Kesha is really good. That was my middle school. Touching on my Don't Trust a Ho. What was the other one? Starstruck. What, what's the one with Ka, um, Katy Perry? Because that one's Starstruck. Good. Oh, Starstruck. That's And good. they were also in blah, blah, blah. And then the iconic lyric that people still tweet about. Um, well, I just saw like a couple of tweets, but like, I don't fucking mess with him because I'm a veget. If he'd say oh, he says don't like I'm it. I'm a vegetarian. And, oh, if he's got beef, then I'm a vegetarian and I ain't fucking scared of him. <laughs> okay, so I have one and you have two, right? Yeah. Okay, oh. my, I have to hold my finger like this, so I'll forget. <laughs> All right, concussion and fierce. Fierce. And it's a ten minutes to the time. And only black modded when I'm finished. Oh, Boo, you have to I'm know sorry. the words. You have to know the words. You're going to go, dan, dan, dan. Who doesn't even say fierce in that? Is he, I used to think is I was fierce because I went to oh, all the parties. I won trophies. You get it because I honest. You, 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 but you, you thought of the song first. So who should get it? Should we, this should be nobody's. Yeah, nobody. Nobody gets this but one. But we were trying to sing Fails by, how do you say Azela it? Banks. Azela Banks. Okay. Azelia Banks. Yeah, I, okay. But she's coming up a few times in the, she's come up a few times in this podcast. I know, like two or something. L- liquor and dislikable. <laughs> liquor. I, <laughs> Why hasn't anyone used the word liquor? And we're not talking about liquor like alcohol. It's L-I-C-K-E-R. That'd be so good. <laughs> Give me some liquor and I'll be your liquor. Oh, the bus. The thing that came up in my mind was a cupcake song called um, Bust D Suckle, but that does not. Liquor. Does she say liquor? No. So we have to skip this one. Favorable in hospital. I feel like there's a hospital I think song. I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> she doesn't say hospital. <laughs> um... I listened to the song Heart Attack by Demi Lovato a few weeks ago, and there's so many good lyrics from that song. Like, oh, like, um... It said, make it bounce like a basketball. <laughs> like, for some reason, the lyrics are just so funny. <laughs> there's another funny one. Um, and she's like, you make me want to act like a girl. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but paint my nails and wear <laughs> perfume for you. I love lyrics like that. Hospital. Is there a song with hospital? There what has to be. I was thinking about, I don't know if it says hospital was... That one song, it's five o'clock in the morning. Did that say hospital? I don't think so. Uh, well, we we really are sucking. Is I, this entertaining to listen to and we can't think of anything? <laughs> if you I, thought of a song with the word hospital in it, go you. I know. Tiger and Prophecy. I got the eye of a tiger. The line, um, what I'm singing is well by Katy Perry. I got the eye of the tiger. Oh, the that's fight a good, I didn't think of that. Dead. But then there's, three. But there's, there's also eye of a tiger. Oh, the eye it? of the tiger. It's the feet of the sun. Oh, there is a song with prophecy in it too. Isn't that like a Kanye West or something? Yeah, like one of those rap songs. All right, conscious and gluttonous. Conscious, conscious. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. But this is so hard. I thought I thought I was going to be so good at this. You know what I mean? Because I feel like I have this vast knowledge of song lyrics in my mind. But there's I haven't heard anything with gluttonous. I feel like Nicki Minaj has used the word gluttonous before. And conscious, I feel like I've heard that before. I don't know where though. I got, when we were, when you said this challenge, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I like I feel like I love music, so I'm going to know this. <laughs> but. Well, usually in the YouTube videos I've seen, they have some like a human picking out the words. You know, they like easy. Or, like, yeah, it's not like it's songs where like the person picking the words kind of knows there's a song to yeah, it. Yeah, isn't isn't it kind of like the, they do like they do like me? 
And then you just do yeah. like me, like Taylor Swift or something. So how many do you have right now? I have three. And I still have only have one. You like five. Yeah, or six. Six. I still want time to win. Yeah. <laughs> Aversion and Hustle. Isn't that a Beyonce song with Hustle? I don't know what it is, though. I'm a badass woman. <laughs> What's wrong with Does that? that? <laughs> the Megan Trainor song? Oh, dang. Does it? It doesn't. I thought it was uh, going to Hustle. I thought that was a Beyonce oh, song. Oh, a gang of... Uh, um, uh, a diva is the female version of a hustler. Oh, of a hustler. That can't even because yeah, that can't. Beyonce. That's what it was. <laughs> do I do I still get it even though I ha- tried something else? I still get it. No, you still get it. Yeah. Perfect. So two to three. Common and fertile. Fertile. Um. I'm trying to think of something. I'm diving deep into my mind. For I'm not just a common bitch. I'm a top bitch. What's that? Nicki Minaj? Yeah, I made that up. Oh, <laughs> because that's what I was thinking about Common in like a rap song. How like, come the only person I'm ever thinking of is Nicki Minaj for all of these? When, when, whenever I hear these words, for some reason I go to rap and like, and I'm thinking about like someone saying, just like you said, like something about I'm not Common. Like that's what I was trying yeah, to think of something like that. I was that. like, who's like bragged about that? Yeah. Well, should I guess, we skip this one? Yeah, because I can't think of anything. Do you have three or four? Three. Perfect. Force and Harmless. Um... Force. Force. I'm pissed at myself. Like, I thought I'd get this instant. I know. I'm so annoyed. Um, this is probably the worst song associating game any of you guys ever witnessed. <laughs> Can you picture, like, <laughs> this is an actual YouTube video? It'd be so dumb. And no cuts or anything. <laughs> force. Um, like, I know there's some song that says, like, force of nature or something. Um, I'm a force of nature. Okay, honestly, if you're a songwriter out there, Demi Lovato, if you're listening, go to this random generator and you could think of songs from this. Oh, yeah. Can, can you imagine a pop song, Force of Nature? I'm a force of nature! <laughs> and then that's the chorus and then you just need the voices. I know. It basically all just, I'm a force of nature. And then it goes, like, ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Have you heard Demi Lovato's new song? I did. did you, okay, so should we just talk about it? <laughs> did you like it? So, okay. It I reminded know. me of like 2013, which I kind of like. So... Yeah, like, like, it reminded me of like olden music. Yeah, so when I olden, listened to like, it, just four, five, six years ago. <laughs> so I don't have anything against it. I just, um, I just like, yeah, it reminded me of music like that isn't with today, which like isn't bad, but it just reminded me of like old pop music, which yeah. I like, but I don't know. I just don't. Yeah, I think like it, it that might much. be a grower. I've only ever heard it. I've only heard it once. Same Maybe with it's me, a grower. So it could be a grower. Those are lots of songs I don't like at first, and then I do like them. Should we keep going? Yeah. We're still three to two, guys. Should we only go to five? Because we should get, go to People six. are getting a little... Six, okay. Okay. Red and oh. challenge. Everything is red. That's right. His hair. Oh, my God. I effed up. Wait, no, that's blue. I'm trying to think of Taylor Swift red. I, I, don't, I don't even think it says red in it, by the way. I think it is like everything is red. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> color, color. Okay, there's also... Red and challenge are the two words. Um... Uh, um, <laughs> this is the worst song yeah. association game. I feel like what is both. <laughs> what is read by Taylor Swift? No, I feel like um, that's such a big song. Oh, driving on a door road in the middle of the country for you. Da 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 and I got it because I said loving him is red, or I say everything is red. I think I think you get it just because um you said the song first, but then did you I think started. of red by t- Taylor Swift? Did right, you think- right when it came on, I thought I read by Taylor Swift. So but who gets it? Should we, I just should we be tied at three? I think we're just tied at three, and it's basically starting over. Loving <laughs> him was red. Because <laughs> I just thought about like the beat of it. Next up, pandemic like, and becoming. Like, pandemic. And becoming. 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 Um. Ooh. Becoming. I've become a monster in <laughs> myself. <laughs> See, I feel like I feel like I could make a bunch of Even shitty just songs. The name pandemic. Like, why hasn't that been a rap song yet? Yeah, because when when I go into the city, it's a pandemic. <laughs> go and get about. the medic. It's a pandemic. <laughs> so, so like with, with with becoming, I was thinking more of a 
ballad, but then for pandemic when I, I was know. like, I was thinking, I was thinking like, gang. <laughs> yeah, like, I was thinking, it was like, I was like, I'm so famous when I go in the mall. It's a pandemic. People look at me and I start a pandemic or something. Oh I yeah, don't know. something crazy like so that. Some either of us got this. Yeah, let's what? only go to five. We're yeah, only going to five. It's painful. At this I point. know people. Everyone's turned <laughs> off. This is gonna be a huge topic in the Reddit. What was it? What was it with that song association game? <laughs> Haunt and lockbox. Um. Um. Why? I why is my brain not working? Haunt mm-hmm. and lockbox. Mm-hmm. There's definitely them- a song with haunt. We can't skip this one. Yeah, like we need to actually dig deep. Um. Um. Well, oh. I was thinking it was the monster mash, but that doesn't say haunt in it. Um. You haunt me like it's for sure a Kelly Clarkson song. Like you haunt me every time I see you. Um, should we just yeah? Change? I'll have to skip it. Sorry, guys. Fraction and Bleak. Let's f- f- skip this yeah. one. Yeah, Large and Warrior. Warrior is a Kesha song, but I don't know how it goes. I think. Um, should we skip it? <laughs> oh we can't get this going. God. We can't just be <laughs> four in any place. Wait, that's a, we can't do that. On it, oh my god. Chili and ego. Chili outside. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how about who can make? No, no. Who can make up a four line chorus first? Should we just do that for the last two? <laughs> who can make up a three line chorus? But actually, but that's just that's so anyone can do that. <laughs> no, but it has to sound good. Like you know what I mean? It can't just be a I bunch of. I am so words. annoyed. Like, how can this can happen we... to Bretman Rock? Should we go back to the first place? Yeah, and just let's go back to the first word generator. We only have two more points left. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is on the edge of their seats. I know, and I know, like I said this before. I'm so annoyed. Like, and I feel like we both listen to so much music. I know. We what's can do happening? this. Let's see what the word is. Brush. I'm thinking about pin my way downtown. Okay, this is so embarrassing. I'm just going to use it. Don't forget to brush. Okay. Don't forget to brush. What? <laughs> it's a Fred song. Oh, for real? It's literally a Fred song. <laughs> Wait, so that was reminding kids to brush their teeth. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's what it was. So I have oh, four points. The Fred songs that I know about are like the Christmas album and like the one music so like the christmas album and then you did another one that was just like i did a full and, length album you and suspenders but what are like those songs from are they from the movie oh no they were just random songs that you do that, that you did that i did with them um, the, the same producer i did for all of them oh what was the music video that mom was in what song was that for wait oh who's Who ready it? to party oh like that's one of the ones that yeah oh, okay um all right so i know how four points because i used a fred song okay Communist? See, that's another good... That should be a good rap. I know. My like, fans act like this is a communist and I'm the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Spring. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Um, Spring. I don't know any... I'm done. Okay, we, we need to do a speed round. Deal. Uh, deal or no deal. I don't know. We can deal with this. <laughs> oh, oh. This is for sure been a last night. I don't have a thing. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Um, um, 50K for a voice no album out. Oh, what's one that says Racco <gasps> Dale? I signed a Racco Dale. That's for sure a rap song. It says, I signed a Racco Dale. Like, like, Racco Dale. Like, oh, it's for sure. I just know someone rap signs like, I'm not signing for less than a mil. Oh, but that doesn't say Dale. Should we skip? Yeah. Kill. Oh, I'll Kill You by Summer Waco. I don't know what it goes like. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a Summer Waco song. Who's like, Summer Walker? That sounds so familiar. Um, she's like a like an R and B singer. Do you know the, Do you know how it goes? No, I don't. I just saw the title before. Expansion. That's not one. Century. Compliance. How about we keep going until we think of a song? Yeah, and yeah. And I'll announce every word. Yeah. Do I have four right now? And you have three. No, you don't have four. I did the Don't Forget to Brush. Oh, yeah. Cheeto. Tribe. So tell me if you know one. So oh, okay, yeah. Going. Tribe. Going away. Confidence. Oh, oh. She's confident. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Can you what's use wrong the word, with that? Can you use the word confident? Because I was going to say you... I was going to go immediately to what's wrong with being confident. So... Ah. And the reason like, why I... I didn't do that because it wasn't confidence. <laughs> I think we should because only in the game, I gave you a point because I was winning. I was so ahead of you and at what that did point. I do? You said a female is a female version of a hustler, but it was hustle. 
Then I'm back to three points. So we're currently tied. Oh, okay. Because I just... It has to be the exact word. I mean, but in that moment, I was like, so what? And you're like, I'll be nice. Oh. <laughs> Branch. Um, Expertise. Okay. No. Discourage. Wait. Hunting. <laughs> cruel. It's a cruel summer. Wait, yeah. It's a cruel summer. <laughs> it's true. That's what I tell you. No rules. That's when I'm loving it. Ooh, oh, oh. It's a cool summer. I did think about that, but it was a couple of seconds after. So yeah, don't have to brag. I got it first. <laughs> Assessment, scrap, prevent, frequency. A oh, frick. Pause. Oh, pause. Wait. Think about it, about it, about it. Walk, walk, line up if you want some. Um, it's beat down by Iggy Azalea. Oh, sorry about that for. Wait, it does say pause, right? It says pause. Wait, think about it. <laughs> yeah, I think she says pause. It's by Steve. I'll yeah, give it to okay. you. So now if you win, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, test. Um, I feel like I've... Factory. I'm a factory girl <laughs> and you're never need. Are you for real? Let me in through the back door. <laughs> it's probably the Pretty Reckless. Taylor uh, Mom is it from Gossip Girl. She had a rock band. I listened I to the whole album. I thought going to make up a song. She actually, like, a, she actually has a song called I'm a Factory Girl. I never knew what that meant. So I, I won. Uh, oh, Sorry. Like, it was I won. Bill? I, uh, I'm the winner. Congratulations. I win. Should we, should <laughs> you we lose. Eat? Should we like, get a award and then who can sing the best song and then they say who? Has the bus call us. Oh, that's a great idea. You vote in the... Let's see what a factory so girl is eat. first. Yeah, so congratulations, Lucas. <laughs> I thought I was when I was really confident in the beginning, but... Oh, it says Urban, Dic- Urban Dictionary says a factory girl is a female who, after being seduced, is willing to have sexual intercourse in a factory. I don't know why they needed a word for that. Is that common to have sex in a factory? I guess uh, there's a lot of factories everywhere and people walk at them, so they need oh, to have... She's a factory girl. Them. Okay. So what's going to happen is we both have to think of, we both, we see, how about, this is the thing. We get one word, no saying, oh, we need a new word. Then we each get like 10 seconds to think of a song, like you said, and then they get a vote in the Reddit or the comments below on YouTube to see who did better. Yeah. So comment below or like just whatever, you know? Okay. Yeah. And we're going to wait like five seconds so we just hold and create it. Okay. Okay. What the word is going to be. Oh. Oh, okay. O-W-E. Like you owe me. Okay. Do you know what that word means, Jacob? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, oh. Okay, I have a song. Kinda. Like, I don't have it fully from it. Should I just okay, say Okay, just say it. I have one too that I was in okay. the back of my mind. You owe me an apology for all the times you left me on your doorstep. <laughs> you owe me an apology for breaking my heart last summer. That's how it is. That was good. It sounds like a Reba, Mac- <laughs> Reba McIntyre song. <laughs> you yeah, owe like, me an apology. I know. Like, it'd say, like, that's the question. Then say, like, why? After. Oh, okay. Here's okay. mine. You said I owe you, but you didn't even know that I said I love you. <laughs> when you mean... <laughs> <laughs> this sucks, this sucks because I, in my mind when I first heard the word oh it was like a gangster vibe but then it came out of my mouth and it was this dumb romantic song <laughs> like I want it to be like you said I owe you but you don't even know that I fucking hate you you know what I mean oh yeah okay. you won they don't even need to vote <laughs> Jacob so, obviously won because mine was just bad and yours was a Reba McIntyre hit well what I was thinking of was like Taylor Swift's first album if I'm using it reminds me of that like 15 and stuff they say you, they say we owe them college money. Wait, what? <laughs> Bonnie Sanders song. Oh, yeah, I was going to say something like the government, something about like against the government or something. <laughs> <laughs> they say we owe them taxes, but where does it go? <laughs> that could be a Halsey song. Can you imagine? Yeah, like, oh, so, wait. We wait. pay these taxes, but where do they go? We need oh. to revolt the youth revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you picture Halsey doing that? <laughs> you throw <laughs> like the music videos her like in the arm, like pretending to be like this new army taking over the world. <laughs> well, can I take over? The old people are gonna die. <laughs> the youth revolution. I'm so fucking dumb. <laughs> 
<laughs> that should have been the name of this podcast, <laughs> The Youth Revolution. It just oh sounds God, so stupid. It? It sounds so <laughs> stupid because it just sounds like it's going to be about an issue that doesn't matter. And then also when I hear the youth evolution, like I think of some like dumb teen who thinks who thinks like they're going to change everything. <laughs> the youth revolution. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, sorry for making you, if you're still here, th- stick through this mess of the end of the podcast. Well, thank you guys for coming along. Follow us on our social medias. I'm Lucas Crookshank on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Jacob. I'm Jacob Crook, just without the shank at the end. And for some reason, he cut off shank. Yeah, I think because I, I thought it was more like easy to type in and stuff. I get it. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for listening. Bye.